All right, YouTube. From this video, we're going to show you how to program wireless devices on a Demco 15, 20. Basically, it's the same on most all the Demco panels. But we're going to show you how to program with a non-alpha keypad. Now, I have an alpha keypad set up next to the regular keypad and we're going to program with the regular one and just show you what you're looking at. You know, it's kind of a harder to program these without an alpha keypad but it can be done so let's get into it. Um, I'm going to show, I got a piece of paper, a little cheat sheet and I'm going to put in front of here. You can look at it, pause it, whatever you need to do. But That's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, tells you the different things that's going to show up, what to press. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to first get into programming. Your default installer code on this panel is 4112. And we're going to do 800. Comes up with 20. Asking for, I mean, this comes up with the installer code on your alpha keypad. So if I can get that a little bit better. Okay. Um, star 56 for zone programming. Now it's going to ask you for set to confirm. You can set to confirm if you want. Uh, basically, it's just going to ask you to transmit if you type in the numbers um, to make sure everything's okay. I just I never do, but you can if you want. Um, I'm just going to hit start. Now see that was a blank screen. You hit start and it goes to zero one. Um, I showed it showed in a different video, and I'll put that video link if you have your annotations on up here somewhere. Um, but regular programming, but we're going to go to zone programming, uh, wireless programming, sorry. Um, so we're going to start with zone 9, zero 09 is what you're going to type in here, or 10, whatever zone you want to program this wireless. And we hit star. Now the next thing that's going to come up is it's going to be the summary screen. And basically on this regular keypad it just shows you what zone you're on. Star again. It's going to ask you for the zone type. Now, most of these zones, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so forth and so on, automatically come disabled. So we're going to turn it on, and we're going to make it a 0, 1 for an entry exit, um, 0, 3 for perimeter, um, so forth and so on. There's a whole list in your book. If you don't have that, I suggest download one. Just Google it. You can find these manuals and books everywhere. So we're going to make it a 0, 1 entry exit delay. We're going to hit star. Now it comes up blank, but basically it's asking for the partition number. You can leave it uh, partition 1 unless you're doing multiple partitions and then you could change it. Uh, if you change it here, it will change. It, you just don't see it. Star to the next field, reporting code. You can put whatever reporting code you want in there. I'm just going to leave it as 10. Now the next, after the reporting code, it's asking for input type. Now this is going to be transmitter, is a 3, 5 is a, a button RF, I think 2 is aux wire for like a, um, a zone expander. Uh, if you're doing wireless, when this screen is blank, just hit star and it'll keep RF transmitter. The next thing that's going to pop up, so it's one star after the um, reporting code is input type, the second star after is where you're going to learn this in. Now you can type the serial number in hit star and then put the loop number in and hit star again or you should be able to learn these in first time beeps once confirm it it beeped twice and it automatically jumps over to the loop number now you're not seeing anything on here but you should still hear the beeping so that should help out so it's the second star past reporting code trip it once trip it again, bing, 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 then hit star. Next screen is going to show you the summary screen, but on this one it's just going to show you the zone number. Star again. It's asking to program alpha. We have a simple text. We're not worried about that. Star again. Now it's going to the second zone. Okay. Um, this is where you could program a different zone in. So uh, star First time, summary, star again is going to be the zone type. We'll just put a 02, which is like a secondary entry exit delay. Star again, asking for a partition. 
star again reporting code. So the next star should be input type, which should be default as RF. One more time should get you to the point where you would type your numbers in. Let's just say um, you had numbers, but you didn't. You wouldn't want to trip your device. You could put these in. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because this is a seven digit. You would hit star. Then it's going to ask for your loop number. Loop one is on most devices. Um, loop one is for motions and smokes and, 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 and what have you. Some of these transmitters, let's see if I can hold this up. If you're using the terminals, loop one terminals, there's little terminals on here that you can wire contacts or wire certain things to. If you're using those, you would make it loop one, like it's flashing default now. If you're using the magnet and the little read switch that's built in, then it's going to be loop two. So when I used the magnet and I went back and forth and programmed it in, it automatically come up as a loop two. But if you were using these terminals and you had contacts and you were tripping on me, it should come up as loop one. But most other devices, most motions and stuff like that is going to come up as one. Uh, smoke detectors is one and so forth and so on. Uh, when you're doing key fob buttons, if you're not learning them into the RF keypad, um, locally and you want to learn them as a zone then each button would be different and you'd want to just press and and so it would automatically come up but it tells you on the key fob paperwork which button is what loop okay enough about that so I did the serial number we just put in one two three four five six seven hit star it jumps to the loop number we'll just leave it as number one hit star again now it's showing you what zone we're on which is a summary screen Star one more time. It's asking you to program alpha. We're not worried about that. Star again. Now it's at the last zone. If you are done programming, zero, zero gets you out of the star 56 menu. And then star 99 gets you totally out of programming. Um, and that's it. That's programming wireless. Now, uh, I did show in the other video how to delete zones, and I'll go ahead and do that now. Also, we'll delete these two zones I just programmed. Here's another little cheat sheet that tells you how to do it if you want to pause it. Okay, so we're going to go in and delete these zones. So we're going to go into programming. My, def my code is 4112800, gets you into programming, star 56. I'm not worried about set to confirm. I want to go to zone 09, star, summary, star, zone type, we're going to do 0, 0. Now, if I, um, star, if I delete the zone yes, it wipes out the serial number. If I hit no, all it does, I'll know on this one, so it saves this serial number in there. It just makes this not active. But on 10, remember, we just put a bogus number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to jump to the zone type. We're going to do 0, 0, star, delete zone. Now, if I hit 1, I don't have to hit star. It just automatically deletes it and goes to the next zone. So what I did was I disabled zone 9, and I deleted zone 10. Now, at any time, you get to fumbling around in here. Oh, and you just want to back out. You can just keep hitting pound. It'll back out, jump to the next zone. And I'm just hitting pound, 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 and you can see it's just going to sit there on that zone. So then you can hit zero, zero, and then start 99. And what that's going to do is, say you started programming and then you were done and you accidentally jumped into another zone and you're kind of lost in this thing. And Because if you're not reading alpha, sometimes you can be confusing. So if you just keep hitting pound, 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 pound until the numbers doesn't change, you know it's asking for a zone number. And you can go to that zone number you want to go to, or you can hit zero, zero to quit and then star... 99. I hope this helps, guys. And um, comments, you know, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If uh, something that you need help with, just ask, and I'll do my best to help. Thank you.